Good morning, dear. How did you sleep? I hope it was well. I hope you had good dreams. You seem a little groggy. I am sure that you are just still waking up. What time is it? Oh, it's noon. It's also Thursday. Yes, my dear, you slept for quite a while. Longer than usual, but I figured you must just really needed it. Please, dear, do not fret about it. I spoke with your employer and explained that you were feeling under the weather. You do not need to worry about it. I made the situation to him quite clear. In fact, he very generously suggested you take an extended weekend. Yes, he sure did. I suppose he also realized that you have been a bit Mm. Well, you just haven't been seeming to feel all that good lately. I think you just needed some extra rest. Mm-hmm. And now that you have it, I think you will find that you feel much better. Yes. Uh, no, darling. Please don't open the blinds. I, I had kept them closed so the light would not disturb you as you slept. I have grown accustomed to it and am not quite ready to readjust. Besides, I think it would do you good to wake up a little more first. You know, your eyesight is rather poor, darling. Let's not jeopardize it with such invasive lights when we don't have to. And when they have been so close to the world for these past hours. Oh, you are feeling awake. And rested. That is good to hear. I have made you the coffee. It is hot. Please have a seat and I will pour some for you. I will also give you some cream and sugar. Yes, you like those, don't you? Of course, I knew as much. I have been making your coffee for three years. Oh, yes. I suppose you do tend to make it for yourself, do you not? Because I do not like the coffee. That is correct. What I mean to say, darling, is that I will be making your coffee for the next three years. Or perhaps longer. We will be together longer than that. We will join. As is tradition of lovers, is it not? Am I feeling all right? Well, the fact that you show such great concern for me 
darling is very touching. It pleases me that you ask. But yes, I am perfectly alright. In fact, I have never been better. A bit off, I suppose. It's been lonely without you, and I did not sleep while you were unconscious. Perhaps I am a bit drowsy. But do not fear, my dear. It will not take me long to adjust. Please enjoy your drink, but not too quickly. It is hot. I have also made you breakfast. Isn't that nice? You do like breakfast, yes? It may be later in the day, but since it is the first meal you consume after waking up, I thought it would be most appropriate. Are you hungry? Very well, darling. Please enjoy this that I have made for you. Me. Oh yes, I'm very hungry. No, I don't think I will eat that. The dog, what dog? We do not have a dog. Do we? Oh, that's right. It must have simply slipped my mind. I... I took the dog to go play with other dogs. He was happy when I left him. I did not want him to disturb you as he rested. He was happy to play with the other dogs. We can retrieve him tomorrow. No, there is no need to call. I've already made all of the arrangements. It's all taken care of. Well, who else would you want to call, darling? There really is no need for that. I informed your friends and your family that you were sick. And they might not hear from you for a few days. They understood. Just as your employer understood. Oh, I actually have your phone. I put it away. You don't need it. Perhaps today, now that you are feeling better, we will spend time together. Just the two of us. Wouldn't that be nice? I've really been looking forward to that. It's all I've thought about, really. For a long time. You and me. Together. Just us. Isn't it romantic? Before we can, though, I do have some chores to take care of in the basement. Please do not bother me while I do them. I do not wish to be disturbed while I work. And also, it is better for you to simply rest. Enjoy your breakfast. I fetched your morning paper. Mm, you could read that while you consume. I will attend to my work. And then I will return and attend to you. I know it is unfair that you must share my attention. 
but I promise it will all be worth it. I will return. down here. We have to go. We have to go. We have to call the police. Didn't I ask you to stay out of the basement? 